What up YouTube? Topaz Jace back for another album review and this one is to that Chinx Legends Never Die and this is the second album since Chinx has deceased and you know usually this is when the quality of music always goes down because when that first album first comes out man people select the best of whatever music was left over because no one really anticipates themselves dying except for if you're Tupac. So after people cherry pick the best tracks that were left over then whatever's left people will go ahead and say okay let's just throw these on out there because people will want to hear everything that this guy did and usually the standard of quality is much low but yet this album is definitely the exception here because quite honestly I like this better than the JFK album and such and quite honestly I attribute that to him perfecting his own craft because he was not the greatest lyricist he didn't have the greatest flow or anything like that but yet he was able to master what he had to put out the best songs that he could do for himself and it seems as though he was rather consistent with it and you can see this in the formula of the songs that I really liked off of this project dude like take that match that hold up and yeah I do like all three of these songs are based on the same predicate of he's taking these statements and making it into wordplay and he flips it as much as he possibly can and yet he does it so well because he just knows himself then take songs like that crown royal and that legendary where all he's ultimately doing is spitting him but yet he knows what type of beat fit him for when he's spitting the best and then made overall solid tracks from it. But then I also really like that same old hood track where what he's ultimately talking about here is him being the same guy that was in the hood, man. He still got love for the hood. And the sad thing is that may have just been the thing that got him killed. Because I don't care how much love you got for the hood, how much love the hood got for you, there's always some jealousy in there when you end up coming up when you're part of anything successful. See, the way that life works is when you end Vans or you step your game up, man, then you definitely cannot be hanging around people who don't. Jealousy will kill you faster than a bullet, bro, but definitely a solid album here, man. I give this joint an 8 out of 10, one I definitely recommend people to go out there and cop. But this concludes today's review, man, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from underground producer Nate on the beat before we take some of your questions. <laughs> about the whole Kid Cudi rap and pretty much how people been coming back at him because for those of you who don't know Kid Cudi pretty much saying he's tired of all of these rappers claiming to be top five and all of that man but in the end they got a whole group of people writing for him and then he started listing names in Drake and Kanye and such man and then Kanye and Drake came back at him while they're out there on tour and Kanye like man you need to keep my name out of your mouth and such and you know the thing about Kid Cudi you're not on the level to even challenge these dudes like one you don't have the notoriety two you haven't created the quality of albums that they have in the past whether you like them or not man you got to respect the music second ghostwriting has always been a part of hip hop this is something that I've talked about for years and such man so there's no point in people even being mad about it like this is the same train of thought that got Meek Mill ate up. And the way that Kanye and Drake came back at him, man, where they really didn't go too deep into it and all of that, man. They really just briefly mentioned them while they are on tour. That was the right way to go about it. And Alice says, why is T.I. being the one to stand up for black people and such? Like, he's a seven-time felon. And that I do not support from you. Just because you're a felon doesn't exempt you for standing up for black issues because reality speaking, Martin Luther King was a felon. Michael Max was a felon. Rosa Parks was a felon. When you're standing up against the tyranny of white supremacy against us, they tend to throw charges on you, bruh. So therefore, you can't discredit the man for having felons. Really, I'm just questioning the man for past actions. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPaz.com. That's down there to read today's article.